30 seconds to go, and we on number three. As you seen, BB came around me and made me look like I was standing still. He said, my asked me to slow down. I said, it's hard to do with BB, BB behind me. I'm, I'm being honest. Somebody came out, this is a cat two. I mean, cat three, I can't, I can't see race. And I'm like, no, this is cat D. But I told him, hey, look, I'm really nailing my takeoffs. We got eight, seven, six seconds to go. I'm, I'm done to do my windup. You see, three seconds, two. Now, one second, I'm 1,226, on, 36 on this one. And I try to hold that just so we take off and then we get to going and we gonna ride on this. This race was very deceptive for me. I don't know, it, it, the climb wasn't hard, but there wasn't really no declines. Not enough where I could rest. So the climbs were long enough that they took up a lot of the race, but there was no, there was a five, it was almost five miles. So five miles for me is normally roughly about, if I'm just riding, 12, maybe 13 minutes to get in. So I'm thinking that, and it doesn't look like it's a too horrible of a race. We got a little slight um, decline, but I think one thing that had happened is, you know how you, you're racing, and this morning, I, I end up, because we were getting ready to go out of town, I ended up waking up a little late and trying to do a couple of things. So I really didn't get a good one. I should have hydro my warm up, and I didn't. So this race right here is like, almost like I did the warm up on the first race. Kind of got kind of smooth a second one. And I was like, I needed a second win and I needed it. And this is when I was trying to get my second win. So I was feeling this one a lot. And as we're riding, I'm like, okay, cool. As long as we, as long as the incline is not cutting. Now this big, it was one thing this thing does, it has a very sharp shot, shot to its incline and it brings it down to a six. And I've been telling y'all, anything over five, I'm gonna slow down no matter what I'm doing. And so, with a five, I'm slowing down. Everybody else is slowing down, but it's those longer runs like this, where the race is not long enough for me to really put in no power, and it's not a really steep catch up in, uh, decline. Those are kind of problematic for me. So, I'm trying to put it in, I adjust my knob a little bit, which I, I'm starting to get better at that. I adjust my narve a little bit, which I did do on the torture fest today. And I'm trying to ride at a certain pace. I'm trying, I'm trying, I was thinking to myself, this hill was not gonna be so long. And if you can notice, I'm blue green. I, I mean, I'm yellow green, most of this, most of this climb. Cause I'm thinking to myself, this race is gonna, we're gonna get ready to go over a hill, but this climb is a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. And this is the intro. So I kind of get the idea, okay, this is part of that ending part of the race. So I know that this thing is gonna have a sharp incline. So I'm thinking maybe because we came around that little corner that it has a sharp decline so that when I come here, I can have the speed to get up this hill. Well, little to my knowledge, this mostly was just a, it wasn't a major climb, but it was a high enough climb that it did enough to cause me to have to slow down a lot. It really did. It forced me to slow down a lot. And by doing that, I thought, well, in my head, I go, well, you know, I could take a chance. And I was thinking, take a chance and ride at a steady pace and just try to stay uh, under 10th. That's what I was telling myself, stay under 10th, because if this is not a great decline in front of me, this is gonna be a hard rate to, um, to hammer out. But when we come around the corner, there's a slight there's a slight decline. I'm going, okay, cool. This thing's going to go down. I see 2%. And I'm thinking, okay, cool. Let me go ahead and put in. So if you look at me, I'm thinking, I still don't know the ratio. So when we come around the corner and we're climbing again, I'm like, oh, man. They took anything I had away from me that I can actually put back into this thing. I thought, we well, you going to hit this hit this start and just be rolling. So I come back to it and I see the little graph show me a decline, negative one. I'm going, okay, cool. Maybe this is a great enough decline that I can catch back up. Because I'm in ninth place and the race just started. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a grim view of what's going to happen. You ever know when you watch a movie and every year movie they go, we have a nuclear bomb. By the end of the movie, they have to use that nuclear bomb. Well, you know, I'm the I'm the old Jason movie where the first one where the kids heading to the campground and they got that old crazy dude standing at the end of the street going, don't go. 
that that what this race was for me. You know, I I saw the I saw the little finished arch and it was like, you gonna have a bad day today on this race. And I don't consider it a bad day. It was a learning experience, but because of the way the race was, now if this was number one race, this would have been ran differently. It would have been a much fresher legs. But with me really starting to get used to winding it out with what I'm doing, I'm finding that I'm getting a little tired than normal because I'm riding a little higher than normal now. I'm starting to move. It's like I'm moving my 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 zone two up a little bit into the zone three and my zone three slightly more I'm where I'm riding at now and it's a lot higher zone now and that's where I'm riding at most of the time when I look back at a lot of my things I'm riding zone three zone four for most of the race especially zone three and that's 100, 139 to about 150 heart rate somewhere in there 152 so that's where I'm at right now and and I start to push past it by the end of the race. So we're coming around in this first lap, and I'm like, in my head, I see two, 2.9 miles left. But it doesn't feel, I feel like I got miles and miles, and I'm so far into this thing. I'm not, I know there's another hill, and I'm thinking to myself, do I use my leaf now and try to catch back up? And I'm, 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 I was thinking that when I passed them guys right there, I was thinking it was gonna keep going. But it was just that they did just enough to, Kill my momentum each time I came around. I would start to build it up, and it would be just enough of a heel in front to take it. And that was so, it was so frustrating because this is one of the races where I needed to know. So I've been getting suggestions on riding these races. A lot of times, I really do need to ride them on Thursdays when I come home on Fridays, get out here and figure them out what races we have in, and try to figure out what they are and ride them a couple of times so I know how I have to hit the races. I know a lot of other riders are doing that. So that's gonna become part of my new structure. I've gotten the comments. I've asked for y'all to give me comments. Thank y'all for all the comments you do give me and all the motivational uh, encouragement you give me. Thank you. I, I wanna, like I say, Swift, Swift riders are the best riders out there. And as we come around this, you know what I remember saying that? That's when I hit the leaf because I knew that was coming. And I thought to myself, okay, I'll be fine. But that was a steep enough snag that even with that, what it, which would be probably about 35, 40, what is it, 10% it knocks off of you? So you're talking about 45, I mean 35, 36 pounds off of me. So that would have been enough. I'm thinking that would have been enough, but I'm still so much heavier that it doesn't help as much as I think it would. If it, let's say I was like a 300 pound guy and it would have took about 30 pounds off of me and I was still pushing the power I'm putting out now, that would have been a great increase. So as as we coming as we coming up with this hill, I'm thinking to myself. I'm really really thinking to myself. If I keep myself about 300, can I finish the race in time? Don't kill myself. Make it to the next race with a little time to get back down, cool down, and that's why I'll stay. And so I made the decision to ride this race at a slower pace. One of them because I was trying to catch my second win. And at the end, very end of the race, it felt like I did. I was tired, but it felt, I had that win where if I would've did the hydro and then got ready to do these four races with like a 10 minute second, 10 minute breather in the middle, I would hit all four of these races different. Cause I would've had a chance to get my body, but this coming straight out of sleep. So the first race was actually my, I, I got enough time to stretch out. I do stretch my legs. I, try to stretch for about 10 minutes, and then I get on the hydro, but I didn't have enough time to get on the hydro after I stretched, so I got right on the bike. So the first race was actually a warm, but the sixth race was kind of a race, and this is the race where I was feeling myself running, and I was like, man, I, I need to catch my breath, and I was just, I, was, I wasn't tired, but I was just, I just didn't have the energy again right here on this race. So my whole goal was just to ride this thing out to the end. And I, when I'm riding this track, I keep looking up at the 2.1, and I'm just going, wow, this thing is moving slow. And I'm at 13 miles an hour, and it's just because it's not a it's not a hard race. It's just a tall race, if I can say that. It's just, just enough where I keep, and you see time we get a slight decline, I get an instant incline. And I just, it just takes what I have left on me away. 
So I'm trying to ride it, but it just took what I had away. So as we come through this, when I'm looking up, and I'm like, okay, cool. We should be fine now. And I know the lap, and I know that there's a decline coming. And you see, this is the first time running this because it gave me the, the compliment for completing this. And I'm coming around, I'm going, okay, okay, okay. I know where everything's at, I have a leaf. So if I can just time that 9% right, maybe I can finish out. But the, pro the other issue I had with this is, I'm running out of time. So, I'm being honest with you. I didn't think I was gonna finish this race. They would be able to do the fourth race. I really did. I was thinking to myself that I wasn't gonna have enough time. I, I, I was trying to time it out. I'm trying to push it. I just couldn't push. This was one of the races where they had everything just right so that any momentum I had, 30, 30 miles an hour, I'm rolling. I gotta, if this was any other race that would feed up going, this thing will be over the next three minutes. But because they they do this thing where you come around the corner and I, I'm trying to time it right, I'm at 31, I'm trying to hold that, but I'm, I'm really, I'm at 20 pedals a minute and I'm trying to let myself cool down and rest. I just seemed so hot that morning. Now, like I said, I did get a chance to warm up really like I would love to have warmed up. So as we come around this, I'm going, okay, man, it's only, God, if I can just get these last 1.2 miles out of the way, and if I can time it just right, 34 miles an hour, and if I can time the incline just right and hit the leaf just right. So I'm trying to just get to that point, but I'm losing it. And I don't think I realized how much I was losing because I think I hit the leaf just now. Did I, when did I hit the leaf? Wow, I waited a little too long to hit the leaf. That's what it was. I was so focused in on the race, I wasn't even looking at the leaf. I told y'all, sometimes I get really focused in and I wasn't looking at the leaf. At the leaf. I should've hit the leaf on this one, but I think in my mind, I knew about the last one and I had time where it was. That's what it was. I didn't hit it here because I knew that nine was coming up. I should have hit it here. That's what coming to race in this race. Yeah, the nine was bad, but I would have had enough speed coming into the nine where I could have hit that incline and wrote that speed out for a while. I was at 34 miles an hour. That little crump right there took it all away. And I think I figured I could get more of that speed back here, but I would have been great to hold on that speed, hit that thing and ramped out and coming over this hill, and I could have brought myself back up to 30 some miles an hour. And that way, when I hit that nine, and I was full blasting right at the beginning of this race, as I'm getting closer to it, I would have watched the, the, the decline, I kept it there, I could have stayed around 25, 26 miles an hour at 450. I could have I could have came around this corner, even though I didn't have the leaf, I see it coming, I could have came into this hill pretty hard. Yeah, I wouldn't have finished super close, but if I would've came in this lead at this whole hemp right here at about 600 miles, and, at 600 watts, at about 25 miles an hour, it wouldn't have hurt. It wouldn't have hurt as bad. So I hit the leaf and it's, it's too, it, I'm looking at how long the climb was, but I could have had more speed coming into the climb. And so that's, this was, this was this race was a series of mistakes that I missed time to lock. So if anybody's racing there, a heavier guy like me, understand the, the mistiming of your of when you do things can affect your race so much. Cause it really did for me. And I'm riding this race and I'm looking at the time now and I'm at 13 minutes with a half, with a quarter, of, a half a mile left. And I'm not really, more. I'm at seven miles an hour. And I'm really tired. <laughs> I told you, I I didn't get a chance to truly warm up, so I'm really tired, and I can't believe how tired I am. I, I really thought I wasn't gonna make the last race. I was when I say I was looking at this race like, oh man, this is one. Can I make my fourth race? Will I have enough time to make it to the fourth race? That's all I was thinking about. And I've been doing this series now for about two months and I've always done all four races. I haven't won all four all the time or one one or here, one one there or one two in place, closing the other three. You know, it, it's always been like that, but 
I got a minute left and I have no speed. I'm at 14 miles an hour and I know there's another incline coming. And so when I'm riding like that, it's hard to stay motivated, but I'm trying to stay more. Look, I'm not quitting on this thing. I'm going to ride this thing out. I'm going to ride this thing out. What happens, happens. But I have less than two tenths of a mile. I have right at two tenths of a mile to go. I'm going to finish this race out. I'm just going to have to deal with the consequences at the end of this race. If I can't make the next race, I can't make it. But I'm going to finish this one. There's a pride in me that makes sure I'm going to finish this race. So I'm trying to finish this thing in under 15 minutes. And so that's now just becoming the goal, just to finish this race. This race was really hard, and I was pushing, but I was really tired. You know, this I, I couldn't really put it in, and I couldn't believe I was at that point right here on this race. It, it wasn't a deadly race for me. It was just just enough to do what it was doing. <laughs> I'm gonna tell, tell y'all, I was so happy to see this end of this race, and I'm like, I'm like, do I have any time going into the next race? With that, y'all, you see it in the, see what the results of this tomorrow. Have a great day. Ride on.